Calculating Acceleration from a Velocity Time Graph by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So remember to recall the equation a equals v minus u over t. To identify u, the initial velocity, which is 0 meters per second, and you identify v, the final velocity, of 10 meters per second. So the time it took the car to increase its velocity from 0 meters per second to 10 meters per second is 5 seconds. So now you substitute in the numbers a equals v, 10 meters per second, 10 meters per second, minus u, 0 meters per second, 0 meters per second, divided by time, 5 seconds. So the change in velocity is 10 meters per second, divided by the time, 5 seconds. That gives you an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. So in the second example, you must identify the final velocity v and the initial velocity u. The final velocity v is 6 meters per second, and the initial velocity u is 0 meters per second. And the time the object took to increase its velocity from 0 to 6 meters per second is 2 seconds. So recall the equation a equals v minus u over t, substituting the numbers a equals v, the final velocity, 6 meters per second, minus u, the initial velocity, 0 meters per second, divided by t, the time, 2 seconds. So the change in velocity is 6 meters per second, divided by the time, 2 seconds, that gives you an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So this object was traveling at a constant velocity of nine meters per second. This object was traveling at a velocity of eight meters per second. Both the objects then decreased their velocity. So as you can see here, the object is slowing down. There is a deceleration. So you first identify u and v, so u, the initial velocity, is 9 meters per second, and v, the final velocity, is 0 meters per second. So the car started to slow down at 4 seconds, and it slowed down to 0 meters per second by 7 seconds. So that means it took 3 seconds for the car to decelerate from 9 meters per second to 0 meters per second. You now recall the equation, a equals v minus u over t, and you substitute in the numbers. So a equals the final velocity, 0 meters per second, minus the initial velocity, 9 meters per second, divided by t, the time, 3 seconds. So the change in velocity is going to be minus 9 meters per second, and the time it took was 3 seconds. So you do minus 9 divided by 3, which gives you an acceleration of minus 3 meters per second squared. Minus 3, it is a deceleration a negative acceleration. So again, you identify the initial velocity and the final velocity, u and v. The initial velocity is eight meters per second, and the final velocity is zero meters per second. The car started to decelerate at two seconds, and it hit its final velocity at eight seconds. So the car took six seconds to decelerate. We've recalled a equals v minus u over t, so now you substitute in the numbers, a equals v, the final velocity, 0, divided by the initial velocity, 8 meters per second. You divide that by the time, which is 6 seconds. So now you do the change in velocity, which is minus 8 meters per second, divided by the time, 6 seconds. That gives you an acceleration of 1.33 meters per second squared. But remember, it's a negative number because there is a deceleration. So it's minus 1.33 meters per second squared because it's a deceleration. A negative acceleration means the car is slowing down. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow.
press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.